Hi there, I'm going to show in this video tutorial how to repair the EMA for Nokia C20. As you see, we have here uh, one phone with the damaged EMA number. We can see only zeros here. So our plan is to restore the um, EMA to the value written on the back sticker since the EMA change is illegal. So um, this is the phone box in case you are curious. So. Um, for the repair operation, I'm going to use Furious Gold SPD tool uh, module from uh, Furious Gold Box Pack 2. So, uh, okay, let's power off the device. We remove the USB cable and now we remove the back cover and the battery in order to restore the original value of the email as you can see here so returning back to the software i'm going to select the model nokia c20 from the operations box email bt relock and here at uh, email zero value which corresponds to the email uh, one value from the mobile i'm going to put the value from the sticker so uh, let's write it So it's three six three five six seven four eight nine seven five two zero five six four. Okay. So uh, once we do this, we simply put back the battery. We put back the back cover. We close it and we leave it powered off. And on the software, I'm going to press connect. And once the phone, uh, once the software starts searching for the mobile, I'm going to attach the USB cable to the power of the phone. But uh, before all, be sure that you have installed the drivers, which we, uh, if you don't have, uh, you can find them on the USB driver folder from the SPD tool module ar archive. So now I'm simply going to attach the USB cable to the mobile and uh, if everything is okay the phone uh, detects the mobile and the process starts As you can see, you also see here the zero value for the email. So now the software informs us that we are going to be charged with one multipurpose log. At the time of recording, one multipurpose log equals two Furious Gold credits, which value roughly two USD. So it's not really much for such a complicated operation. So uh, if we have the credits, we simply press yes in order to, uh, for the process to complete. So the process ended. So now um, let's remove the USB cable and let's power on the device and check. Okay, so once the phone starts, let's check the emails. So as you can see, the value for the email one 
got successfully restored so everything went good we also have a full signal on the mobile so everything is okay no error messages we have here the nectar name also so uh, that was all thanks for watching thanks for using our products bye bye